uh, hi guys uh, today we are going to see about the azure databricks with this plane integration um have already uh, have already covered the covered the spline setup in the uh, the previous video as well okay i am going to skip this setup in ec2 instance okay uh, second thing is uh, we need to install this spline agent in the cluster environment which means azure databricks itself okay uh, this is a jar i am going to install in the in my cluster uh, the this jar should be compatible with the cluster scala version actually uh, as cluster scala plus spark version as well so i have installed uh, this jar this bundle actually the 2.4 along with the 2.11 the scala version okay the last version will imply the spline version okay uh, apart from that uh, we are we are we are going to add uh, the few more configuration in the code itself uh, to enable the uh, lineage tracking okay uh, so i'm adding this property this spline dot mode should require uh, and spline dot producer dot url should be this url actually mm, the finally i'm just enabling this uh, uh, lineage tracking in spark actually Okay, we'll see the uh, demo. Okay, first we'll uh, I'll show the spline setup. Actually, this is spline setup. I have uh, have hosted this spline setup in um, easy to instance. Uh, based on your uh, convenience, you can install in Azure Cloud or Google Cloud. Actually, okay. Mm, this is my uh, DataBricks setup. Actually, this is my cluster. Uh, the configuration of the cluster is. Apache Spark 2.4.3 and 2.11. Uh, this uh, this configuration should matches with your uh, uh, spline agent bundle version as well. Actually, it should have 2.4 as well as a 2.11. Uh, this 2.11 implies the scalar version. The final 0 0.5.6 implies the uh, uh, spline version. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm already uploaded the uh, CSV file ind.csv in the uh, data space actually. Sorry, I could see it in the data space. Okay, guys. Uh, we could see the file thread ind csv already, which exists in the dbfs uh, that file store thing actually, and file store itself. Uh, I'm going to make use of this ind csv. I, I'm going to transform this uh, data set into uh, ind hyphen new csv actually. Okay. Okay, I'm going to. Write design ind hyphen new dot csv. I'm going to transfer uh, transform to new new file actually. Okay. Let's see whether it will capture the linear lineage of this transformation or not. Which means the data set ea which means data set ea ind will be transformed to ind hyphen new. The spline producer URL should be the uh, our spline setup hosted uh, along with the 1990 the port where the producer is running actually. Let's see what exception exception we are getting it. Sorry, I have not changed that uh, URL. K74 okay, to 4898. Uh, have not updated the 
URL actually explain URL okay okay I'm just running this job or book sorry notebook yeah it is done actually let's check whether it is uh, the lineages get uh, populated here or not when I check that okay it is it is getting populated here actually when we got into this you could see that uh, that IND CSV transformed to IND new CSV actually okay Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you.